Hello again, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really quick one because it's a really fun and simple card and I'm using alcohol inks again because I just can't get enough and I get a lot of questions and comments on my alcohol ink project so I wanted to show you guys another way that I'm going to do this today. Again, I am using alcohol ink cardstock and it is my preferred method. I do have a video that is comparing alcohol ink and Yupo paper, alcohol ink cardstock and Yupo paper. Uh, so if you would like to watch that, that is linked here in the top right hand corner and then you can decide for yourself. But for me, my preferred paper for alcohol inks is alcohol ink cardstock. Now I'm going to be creating a rainbow with these alcohol inks today. So I am using in succession cranberry, sweet orange, sunshine yellow, lettuce, and purple twilight. And I'm doing this just like I do any other alcohol ink project or alcohol ink art. But what I want is for the rainbow to be coming in from the right side of my cardstock into the center and the left hand side. So I'm going to put a drop of my color down and then put a drop of alcohol ink blending solution on top of that and then use my air puffer. And if you're not familiar with an air puffer, it's actually just a camera lens cleaner and all it does is blow air when you squeeze it, sort of like a something that you know takes your blood pressure or something that's what it reminds me of but it gives it a really nice feathery look i'm going to do these directly next to each other almost on top of each other so that the colors blend together alcohol inks are a little different than or very different from watercolors and markers in that they don't really need to be the same color to blend i haven't had a lot of brown when i'm using alcohol inks together uh, when i'm mixing them because they just tend to sort of keep their vibrancy unless I'm putting way too much on. So you wanna make sure that you keep it to a smaller amount. You don't need a lot of alcohol ink. I am zooming you in here because I'm just doing some spritz or some specs. I'm not exactly sure what the actual name of this is called, but just uh, some specks or splashes of alcohol ink blending solution all over that art that I've done there on the right hand side. And this just gives it a really fun texture, almost like bubbles or something. And I really like the way that that looks. For my sentiment today, I'm going to be using Birch Press Designs Big Lingo Wow. And this is a really fun die because it cuts out the actual word, but then an outline as well. So I was able to sort of do a play on colors here and do a black word with a white outline. And I think it looks really great when it's up against the bright colors of the alcohol ink. So I'm going to actually do three of those and I have to be really careful when I'm adhering the outline to the actual word die because it is so thin. I would highly suggest a much thinner nozzle than I'm using right now, but all of mine seem to clog. So Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue is usually the way that I go when using glue because I just it just doesn't clog on me as much and I appreciate that. So what I'm going to do is put some foam tape on the back end of each of my die cuts and this will just help it have a little bit of dimension when I go ahead and adhere them. And I adhere the center wow first and that way I know exactly where I want the top and the bottom die cuts to go. So finally what I want to do is add another part to that sentiment and I am using you mean the world to me. I stamped this in a very dark purple ink onto a white piece of cardstock and trimmed it down and then just put a matted background behind it of a very sparkly yellow cardstock. And I really love the way that it brings out that yellow there in the center. And that's why I chose yellow because it was going right in that spot. Had I put it on the top or the bottom, I would have chosen either orange or green. I just wanted to it to look really uh, cohesive there with the same color on the line that it was on. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, all of the links to the supplies are listed in the description, as well as the link to the coordinating blog post over on Birch Press Designs blog. If there are any questions, please give me a shout in the comments and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.